One last thing about uh, homogeneous nucleation for solidification is uh, about nucleation rate. How fast does this homogeneous nucleation would happen? In order to get uh, a relationship, let's first define a few terms. First, it's C star representing the number density, the number density of a nucleus with the size or radius of our star, the critical nuclear size. Okay. Another term, C0, is the atomic density, has a unit of number of atoms per uh, unit volume, and it would be the same for the liquid phase and as well as the solid phase because for simplicity we have assumed that uh, the volume, uh, molar volume keeps the same from liquid to solid during the solidification process. Okay, a third term that we define is the same as data G star homo. It means the nucleation energy homogeneous nucleation energy okay and um, from previous we know um, the first derivative we get the critical nuclear size and then we can also get this homogeneous nucleation energy if assuming simple geometry of a sphere nucleus in homogeneous nucleation and the relationship between C star and C0 is something like this, which means the number density of a nucleus with size of critical size R star would be the atom density times a constant times a exponential term. And this exponential term just uh, is the probability, essentially the probability of forming a cluster with size of R star. And it's given by expo exp minus critical nucleation energy divided by kT. Okay. Of course, the higher this nucleation energy, the lower the probability. Okay. At the same time, the this is uh, our relationship to find the between um, critical nucleus and number density, atom density, and the probability of finding such a new uh, critical nucleus. Then one additional term that we define would be the frequency of adding one more atom to a nucleus. The frequency, how frequent for, let's say for one second, how many new atoms are added to a existing critical nucleus. If we have these terms, then the critical nu uh, nucleation rate, which is in the unit of per unit time, per unit volume, okay? N for nucleation rate, HOMO for homogeneous nucleation would be this frequency of adding one at more atom to a nucleus times C star, the number density of a nucleus with critical size, okay? For a critical nucleus, if you just add one more atom, then that would make the critical nucleus larger than the critical size and from that point going forward the free energy change would be downhill and the process would be spontaneous for the nucleus to grow okay so this critical nucleation rate is controlled by how frequent we add atom to a existing nucleus times the uh, number density of the critical nucleus with size of our star, okay, that critical size. And then we put the C star into this relationship, replace C star with C0 times the exponential term. This together gives us the uh, homogeneous nucleation rate. And uh, from earlier what we derived, the homogeneous nucleation barrier, the delta G star homogeneous is given by a simple relationship as what we discussed before. Again, 
gamma SL is the interfacial energy between the solid and the liquid during this homogeneous nucleation for solidification. Tm is a melting temperature, equilibrium melting temperature. Lv is a latent uh, heat per volume during this solidification. And delta T is the so-called undercooling, was the temperature below the equilibrium uh, melting temperature. Okay, this together give us the homogeneous nucleation barrier. And of course, from here you would see that the larger the undercooling or delta T, the smaller this barrier. And the smaller this barrier, the higher the probability of overcoming uh, such barrier, or the higher um, the uh, nucleus density okay so this is the relationship if we put this data g star into the above equation we don't represent the mass in detail but we would have something like this and again n home is for the homogeneous nucleation rate which means per unit time per unit volume how many new nucleus are created okay would be equal to F0 we would keep and C0 we would keep except now that a G homo star is replaced and something like a constant divided by data T star data uh, T to the power of 2 and uh, for a given um, temperature the temperature term got uh, lumped into this um, term of A. And essentially what this tells us is that um, if you are going to plot it, we would have such a relationship. The homogeneous nucleation rate changes, of course, with data T, which is the undercooling or the temperature below the homogene uh, equilibrium melting temperature. And for this relationship, the larger the data T, the fraction becomes smaller, the negative fraction become larger, and uh, the exponential term would, as a result, also become larger. And if you plot it, the relationship would be something like this. When data T is relatively small, this n homogeneous rate is essentially zero until suddenly it starts to increase uh, exponentially and then reach kind of like a saturation. And what people find is the homogeneous nucleation rate is show would show a sudden increase of the rate and it will occur when the data T n the nucleation um, undercooling is around 10.2 of the melting temperature which means if when the temperature is around 0.2 of melting temperature below the melting temperature the homogeneous nucleation for solidification would uh, suddenly start to occur. Okay? And that concludes uh, this lecture on homogeneous nucleation for solidification.